Jared Cohen for prosdepreps.com out at Hamilton High School, where today we're shining the spotlight on one of the top players in the state, Mitch Ney. And first, Mitch, if we could talk about how it all began for you with, with baseball to this point. Uh, well, when I was younger, I got pushed into baseball because my grandpa he used to play professionally, and I started hitting it about the age of five or six, and since then it's been pretty much every weekend I've been playing in games or hitting BP or pretty much just it's all it's always been baseball I mean I've messed around with football and basketball but baseball is really my thing you could say and at what point did you realize that baseball could be something that you could make of a career one day or at least play at the collegiate level um, it was probably my sophomore junior year in high school I started to get bigger and fill out and get more coordinated and I started playing well and I started getting contacted by by colleges and uh, this last year I went went over to Cary this summer and uh, since then I've been contacted by professional scouts so I mean yeah I'm still having fun with the game it's still a lot of fun for me but all these extra opportunities are really cool too. And some of these opportunities you're you're committed to play at Arizona State a little bit down the road um, you have the opportunity to potentially be drafted first talk about Arizona State and uh, and your your dealings with with coach and the program and, and what kind of opportunity that could present you. Oh, Coach Esme and uh, Jew and all those guys, they're, they're really great to me. I love that program. It would be awesome to go play there. Um, I've always watched ASU games from a young age. I've always gone down there and always hoped that one day maybe I could play there. So being committed there and, possibly, and going there is going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be like a dream realized. So, And with all the scouts here at uh, today's game, there's obviously the opportunity to, to go pro after this season. What will be your ultimate deciding point to whether you decide to uh, go pro or decide to head over to ASU? Um, really, it's just going to be a decision me and my family are going to make in, in this summer. And whatever is the best opportunity for me, is going to be what I'm going to do. Either way, it's going to be a good deal. I mean, ASU is a great place to be, and uh, being a pro is my ultimate dream, but it's got to be the right situation, right deal for me. And instead of talking down the line, we'll we'll talk now. Uh, high school, you came up just short in the state championship game last year. You have a lot of yeah. players coming back, such as yourself. Uh, what is your outlook for the rest of this season, and what do you guys have to do to get over the hump? Um, we're, we're playing great right now. we got great pitching. Uh, we're hitting good. Uh, I mean, it's all, it's all coming together. I mean, there's a lot of new kids out here, so it was kind of, uh, let's see what happens. But now everything's uh, kind of coming together. We're hitting well, pitching well. It's been good. I mean, I feel like we're the team to beat around here. So. All right, well, that's Mitch Ney. Keep your eye on him. The rest of the baseball season could be headed to ASU or could be heading to the pros. This is Jared Cohen for pros2preps.com.